We got Wes Hightower running his hand in a bareback rigging. But I'm not gonna pick this movie apart. I'll pick it apart a little bit. They're, they're riding a bareback rigging. This movie gets a lot of flack. The movie is called Urban Cowboy. What were you expecting? They're doing urban cowboy stuff, like riding mechanical bulls. But they're sitting up like a bull, but guys sat up on bareback horses back in the day. I actually got to MC one of these night before last. They even got a bullfighter in there for this mechanical bull riding. I wonder if they used the stunt double. Surely he didn't. He didn't. Knowing John, I don't think he did. Lost his hat. That's a $50 fine. Whenever I emceed the mechanical bull riding at the Can-Am celebration, the crowd did not get this into it. Here we go, John. John Travolta. That's how he nodded. Wow. Throws his hand. Shoulders not square. That's how you nod. That might be a new thing. Like, this is how he says, buck him. He's got shafts on and everything. I feel like they sped it up. This is my unpopular opinion. Bud's second girl, the rich one from Dallas, is way hotter than Sissy. But Sissy's personality, that's a vibe. I think he's taped up. I wonder if this was like a Blazing Saddles kind of movie that they were like, there's no way people will take this serious. And then they did. Got Dale Earnhardt out here. <laughs> the hat fashion back then. Seven out of 10 cowboy hats have feathers in the front. American hats sold out of cowboy hats. Gillies cowboy hats, seven inch crowns. That's where I got mine. American hat sales reps didn't even have to leave the house. All they did was answer the phone and they would only give so many cowboy hats per store because they were that popular. What a time to be alive. Clint Eastwood's son, isn't it? Yeah. Scott Eastwood. Like all great rodeo movies, it's based off a Nicholas Sparks novel. Yeah, into his hand, round to the right. Oh man, that was about a four second ride. Nod his head, and it's over. What a get off. I think that's Nate Justice fighting bulls. If we were to mic up those bulls, they wouldn't sound like that. Here we go. Just let go. I mean, ah, ah. A lot of pretty girls in the stands in these movies. <laughs> that's not realistic. Jordan is actually in the stands in this movie at some point. I don't know. Keep it. Keep it? Wow. They really, I don't know. You got to tell a story. I understand. We need some authenticity. Keep the hat. You must make a lot of money. Personally, I would have said the same thing because that hat is shaped like crap. Keep it? Keep it? Keep the cowboy hat? Maybe you do. I don't know. I've never been that. I've never been given a free hat. This would be super fun to do a voiceover to. That's a good little bronc right there. Kiefer Sutherland, man, he can do it all, right? Is that the guy who plays Obi-Wan Kenobi? He's got a pile of rain. I've seen this one. He like lights the cigarette, puts it out, puts it in his ear. Why? So he doesn't lose it, I guess. How did you change his rain in the ride? Hard to beat that one. Maybe for you. Maybe for you. <laughs> Hard to beat that one. It's the only way to answer that question. Maybe for you. The most accurate representation of a rodeo cowboy on the big screen. Boy, he has a chew in the size of AT&T Stadium, doesn't he? He's got himself half the freaking can of Copenhagen in his mouth. You know, that's, a, that's what we in the biz call a gonker. Woody Harrelson has a gonker in. You go to a rodeo, you're probably going to meet three dudes who act just like Pepper. Already's got a dart lit up. Oh, Kiefer Southern, he's already got it. Is that Travis Tritt? Yep, that'd be Travis Tritt in a cowboy hat. Another pile, that's a pile of rain. Dang. I would have loved to have been on the set here. That a boy. Yeah, Travis, what do you think about it? Long hair, no care. He kind of moving his feet a little bit. We're bucking Broncos. And then my man, Woody, comes through. <laughs> <laughs> when they zoom in on these guys, the horses. <sighs> <sighs> I didn't even know he was in a cowboy movie. I've been watching True Detective. Kibbo. Darn it, there goes our money. Attaboy, Woody. Dell, yeah. Oh my gosh. Walker, Texas Ranger. Here we go. Trivet. 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 This bull here. You know, he'll kick hard and he'll kick high. He belly rolls and he's got a lot of drop. Somebody fed him some lines right before that. Great job, Chuck. <laughs> Knows what this bull's gonna do. He didn't even really get a good look at that bull. I'm a Chuck Norris fan, but some of these things just don't make sense. How did he know he was gonna do that? <laughs> He's just nodding. 
he called it. That bull did nothing that he described he was going to do. He's a bad one, all right. Wonder who's got to ride him. I have a feeling something completely outrageous is about to happen. Oh, he's going to ride the bull. So his bull is loaded. Someone put his bull rope on for him. He's warming up his bull rope. Chuck Norris has been on a bull or two. Well, actually, to be honest, I bet he's never been on a bull, but he knows how to warm up a bull rope. He's doing all the right steps now. I need to get this guy to teach me how to ride bulls. He's never been jerked down. He's only jerked the bull up. Takes that rap. I would, I would have figured Chuck Norris for a little pinky rap. Not even looking at the bull. <laughs> Go ahead and let, let us out. Of course he's going to ride him. I wonder who his stunt double was. He's got a little Dale Brisby-esque in his riding abilities. Oh, he's stacked up right there. Of course he's not going to wear a vest. I'm surprised he's even got a shirt on. That looks like a different bull right there. He rode two bulls in eight seconds. That's how good Chuck Norris is. I've never seen this movie before, but I'm gonna go home and watch it after this. Shut up and run, Trebet. Hey, you got my name right.